Wormholes have long been thought to be one of the most exciting phenomena in interstellar space. After many years of speculation and examination, scientific research has recently proved the presence of the very first wormhole. Could you explain what a wormhole is? In this video, we will see about the first wormhole found by scientists, explain why astronomers are so enthusiastic about it, and explore how it can directly affect you. We put a lot of work into our videos to keep you up to date. It will help us greatly if you subscribe to this channel, so we can reach the first 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Let's get straight into the topic. What is a wormhole? A wormhole is a tunnel connecting two distant places in space or time. It is a solution to the equations that characterize Einstein's theory of general relativity. Wormholes may occur in space as well as in time. However, since the tunnel length in this place is less than the distance between those two points, you're free to use it. Many people on Earth are probably unaware of our planet's efforts to safeguard us because of its unique traits. We are protected from risks that might otherwise be lethal. When you leave Earth, you can no longer rely on things that make sense to you, and the more you go into space, the more terrifying the things you discover. We can identify that one of them is a wormhole. Wormholes are fascinating for the same reason they are frightening. Wormholes provide for speedier transportation between locations than traditional methods. Wormholes have been the topic of many science fiction films, but they were considered fictitious until recently. Because of this new finding, some people may refer to wormholes as einstein rosen bridges. This is because two prominent scientists, Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, developed the simplest wormhole solution in 1935. Black hole. The team began by searching for a mathematical explanation for the black hole. A black hole is another frightening occurrence that consists of a singularity, also known as a point of infinite density and an event horizon, which is the barrier beyond which nothing can ever pass. They discovered that the solution could be expanded to include white holes, which are the inverse of black holes and are consistent with physics principles. The singularity might be found in these so-called white holes as well. However, they have the opposite effect on their environment as black holes. Nothing can get beyond their event horizon, and everything that does enter a white hole is ejected out the other side. Einstein and Rosen pioneered the finding that for every black hole, there is also a white hole for a black hole. Here is where the wormhole comes into play. However, since the two holes would be in opposing directions in space, a route would be needed to connect them. This pathway is known as a wormhole, and although wormholes are theoretically feasible, they present significant practical obstacles. Wormhole findings. If only one photon or other light particle traveled through the wormhole tunnel, it would contribute massive energy to the system. As a consequence, the tunnel would disintegrate, destroying the wormhole. Furthermore, you are not the only one who imagines a wormhole as a cozy hidden route, connecting one section of the cosmos to another. If you try to enter the black hole from outside the event horizon, which you would have to do since the only route is from the outside, you would be locked there indefinitely. As a result, you would be trapped in the related wormhole for all eternity. However, scientists have recently discovered how to generate a stable wormhole that can also be traversed, which means that all you need to do to save yourself from this impending disaster is a few simple equations. The key to stabilizing a wormhole found in the 1970s is to move the tunnel's mouth beyond the black hole's event horizon and stabilize the tunnel itself. This is done to prevent stuff passing through the tunnel from causing a sudden and catastrophic collapse. You'll need a material with a negative mass. This is a form of substance, sometimes referred to as exotic matter. A recent study has indicated that wormholes containing unique materials have the potential to remain stable over long periods. Negative mass concept. The concept of negative mass is fascinating. Exotic matter is distinct from both dark matter and antimatter. For example, if you place a harmful mass object next to a positive mass item, the negative mass item would accelerate rapidly, even without any external energy. This is the problem of size. The existence of early wormholes with diameters ranging from 10 to 33 centimeters has been proposed as a possibility. Some wormholes may have been stretched to enormous sizes as the universe expands, but let's pretend you've fallen into a wormhole for the sake of argument. Wormholes are portals through which people can travel between parallel universes. Where are you going, and what will you eat while you're there? According to the researchers' findings, the entrance will have a spherical shape similar to the topography of a planet. Wormhole structure. If you look through a wormhole, you would see the light streaming in from the other side. Wormhole tunnels can be indefinitely long, and if you travel through a wormhole, you would have skewed views of both your home planet and your destination. How exactly does this happen when the plan is put into action? To begin, the theory of special relativity states that moving clocks operate slower than stationary clocks. As a result, someone is moving around in a very playful manner. 
A person moving near the speed of light would not advance in their timeline as quickly as a stationary observer. As a result, assuming you successfully construct a wormhole in the first place, his two ends will be in sync. However, if one end were sped up to nearly the speed of light, it would begin to lag behind the other. It is possible to merge the two entrances into a single one, but that would necessitate moving one of them back in time. It's a lot to take in, but remember that you only need to go through one end of the wormhole. To travel back in time when you leave, you will be commemorating your own life's history, and in a sense, reliving specific moments from your life. Although wormholes have been studied extensively, no one has ever seen one in space. A group of scientists, however, has created a wormhole in the laboratory. Outcomes Are you concerned about the potential outcomes of this effort? Researchers at the University of California, Santa Cruz, have proposed some bright ideas. Researchers at the Spain's Autonomous University of Barcelona created a sphere capable of transporting a magnetic field from one location to another. They claim to have been inspired by the theoretical work of Alan Greenleaf, a mathematics professor at the University of Rochester in Rochester, New York. Greenleaf proposed that electromagnetic waves could travel from one location to another via an invisible passageway known as a wormhole. Space exists in the absence of air. Magnetic field. The Spanish researchers use magnetic metamaterials and metasurfaces to create a wormhole that transports a magnetic field from between two different locations in space via an invisible route to magnetic sensors. This was accomplished, even though Greenleaf's theory could not be tested. The inconvenient and complex nature of the required materials posed challenges for the device's development. However, these materials already existed, making the process easier. The nature of the required materials caused the issues. One of the researchers, Jordi Packham, stated that they had concluded, it appears that the Greenleaf theory was correct in every way. They worked on the wormhole's construction for four months after deciding on its architecture. This gives the impression that the magnetic field travels from one location to another, across a fourth dimension. The outer layer of a ferromagnetic sphere is sandwiched between a superconducting inner layer and a sheet of ferromagnetic material, folded into the shape of a cylinder, and running the length of the sphere between two ends in this experiment. When viewed from the outside, the magnetic field intensity within the sphere is intended to be zero. Magnetic wormholes alter the structure of space in the same way that gravitational wormholes alter it, giving the impression that the inner region has been magnetically wiped clean. Previously, these researchers had developed a magnetic fiber. A magnetic field can be transmitted from one end to the other. Unfortunately, a magnetic field can be used to identify this fiber. However, the wormhole they now have is a three-dimensional structure that magnetometers cannot see. The study conducted by the Spanish research team is intriguing because it may have real-world applications. Magnetic fields are used in a wide range of medical treatments. For example, patients undergoing magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scans may feel more at ease with this technology's assistance because they do not have to stand as close to the detectors. Furthermore, the technology allows multiple MRI photographs of different body parts to be taken simultaneously. Meanwhile, scientists continue to investigate the nature of wormholes, but the question remains as to how they can demonstrate the existence of wormholes. Researchers from Russia have developed a theory that suggests they could be found in the galactic centers of some very bright galaxies and have proposed some techniques for locating them. According to the calculations, a spectacular display of gamma rays would occur if Mata from one side of the wormhole collided with Mata from the other. This is something that telescopes may allow us to see. With the help of these rays, it is possible to distinguish between a wormhole and a black hole. Previously, researchers believed that an untrained observer would be unable to distinguish between the two. While the radiation from a wormhole would be contained within a massive sphere, black holes are thought to emit more gamma rays than wormholes and then inject them into a jet. Okay, guys, these are all for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video on this topic, you should watch our last video and please like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you think this video was helpful, please let us know in the comments below.